Organization is key to efficiency in the lab. An organized storage will save you time and money by preventing duplicate orders and making sure you can always easily and quickly find what you're searching for. LabGuru Storage Module allows you to organize your inventory items efficiently by specifying the storage location of items, such as samples, reagents, disposables, and more. This makes it easy to track down each stock you ought to use. Today we will show you how to map your lab storage locations and place your stocks in their designated locations. Let's go to the Storages module. In this module, you will find a hierarchical presentation of all your storage locations as a tree diagram, starting from your lab rooms down to the resolution of a vial in a box. When creating a new storage, various types of storage options are available for use. Let's start by mapping our lab. We begin with mapping out all our rooms, lab, storage, hallways, etc. Let's create a room. We'll call it QC Lab. Great, we have our room mapped, so let's start mapping all the storages inside it, such as freezers, refrigerators, closets, cryo tanks, and so on. Let's add inside the QC Lab a new storage unit, a freezer. We also recommend to map your storage unit by adding shelves, racks, drawers, boxes, etc. Now that we have a shelf, let's add a rack and place a box inside. You can always edit or remove your storage facilities and locations according to your needs. Let's take a look at the box we just added. Here, you can find box details such as owner, content type, privacy, storage location, and more. The box properties can be edited at any time by clicking the edit button. We recommend defining your box type in order to keep your boxes organized. For example, if you define the type as antibodies, you'll be able to place only stocks from your antibodies collection. You can also define it as a general box and place stocks from various collections in it. Another property that can be defined is the box privacy. Once you check the private box option, only the box owner will be able to use this box and to link its contents to experiments and protocols. Now the content type is defined as general and the box is defined as personal. Here, you can see the layout of the box and the positions of the stocks that are stored inside. Hovering over the existing stocks will show you stock and collection details. You can also perform actions on all the stored stocks at once. For example, mark the stocks as consumed, edit, dispatch, and print labels. Let's create a label for our stocks. Customize label size and layout and choose the information that will be printed on the labels. Add a barcode and scan it to easily add stocks to your experiment. Or use a QR code to be directed straight to the stock page for editing. Labels can be created not only for stocks, but also for boxes, storage units, and equipment. Easily add a new stock to your box by clicking on Add Stock and typing the required information. The stock page will contain the location details so that you are able to easily locate your stocks when needed. In this video, we explained how to create storage locations and store your stocks. For more information about storages, stay tuned for our next video. To learn more about LabGuru, contact us.